The last time we were at the site of the Shellcracker plant, it did not look like this. A lot of big objects building a big operation. For example, that tower off in the distance, well, it's the height of a football field. And speaking of fields, the 400 acre property looked like a big one the last time we were there. Sky 4 with Action Cam captured the emptiness when we were there in January of 2017. Now, Everything's uh, running good. Wayne Poindexter is running the show here and says it's running smoothly. We're employing right now close to 3,000 people. Construction will eventually employ 6,000 people, half from the area. The plant will essentially create plastic pellets that can be used in a variety of ways. If you look down to the west over here. All right, a quick tour from left to right. The gas gets broken down or cracked on the western part of the property. It's cooled and stored in the middle, and then it finishes refining into those pellets in the east. They'll go into those silos where they'll be trucked and trained out to the world. As for construction, we've got 111 pieces of equipment out here right now. So there's a lot of equipment on the site. This crane is the second tallest in the world, as tall as the U.S. Steel Tower downtown. This, this has been a really exciting thing to get to bring to Beaver County. Joe Minetti is a Beaver County native who works for Shell and says they've already done a lot to incorporate and ingratiate themselves with the community. STEM education in schools and today it's going to change lives. A $42,000 donation to the Faith Restoration Food Pantry serving Beaver County. And this is going to be able to let us continue to operate and put food on the table for over 3,000 people every month. Officials say things still appear to be on track for full operation sometime after 2020. In Beaver County, David Kaplan, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.